today's gonna be a bit of a different video uh, since Halloween is coming up I want to get you guys all in the mood because Halloween is my absolute favorite time of the year as I'm assuming you've all found out by now but yeah it's my favorite and I thought I could help you guys out by getting you in the mood with some Halloween movies so the first part to this is going to be for kids uh, I'm going to give you some of my favorite cartoon movies for Halloween these are my favorite movies before showing them to your kids maybe you should watch them first just to make sure that you know whatever your personal um, preferences are for your, like your own kids and what they should can and should watch um, yeah might be different than what I think kids can watch and that's me covering my ass so I'm going to go through 13 of my favorite cartoon Halloween movies and I'm gonna tell a little bit about them hopefully not give like the whole plot away so I'll leave some secret secretiness to the movies, but I do want to kind of give a little blurb about them just so you can kind of get an idea if you actually want to watch it or not. And also, these are good movies, I think, even if you're an adult to watch them. They all have like storyline, which is why I like to watch them. Our first spooky movie is Ernest Scared Stupid. It's an older movie, um, it's very silly, it's about kind of um, this guy who constantly makes mistakes and then these troll things come and you know they have to save the town it was one of the movies I used to watch growing up and I really like it uh, it's a bit dated I will warn you but I think it's still a really good movie and it's definitely a Halloween themed movie I think it happens on Halloween or around Halloween I haven't seen it in a while it's one of the one of my nostalgia movies that I'm going to be watching this Halloween the second movie uh, is Corpse Bride I love Tim Burton, worship the ground he walks, I was heartbroken when him and Helena broke up, I was like, what, I'm sorry, excuse me, but um, I love both of them actually and I love when they work together, but that has nothing to do with the movie. Um, the movie is about this guy who is getting married, he gets cold feet obviously, and he ends up accidentally marrying a corpse. Ugh. And so it's him and his adventure on kind of fixing that and the sub stories behind it. it. It is a bit of a musical, I will say that. So if you're not into all the singing and dancing, uh, might not be for you, but I really enjoy it. The third movie is Coraline, and not many people have heard of this one. Uh, it's not by Tim Burton, but it looks like it should be, I believe if I'm remembering that correctly. I know it's not by him. Maybe he produced it instead of directing it or something. I don't know. I don't think he made it though, but it looks like he did. It's kind of his animation. And it's about this little girl who really hates the world she's in and the situation that she's in. And she just hates her life basically. And she finds this alternate world uh, in this small little door. And it's kind of how like her figuring out that this alternate world isn't all it's cracked up to be because it's kind of supposed to be like this perfect utopia and it's kind of the story that goes through her um, realizing that what she had was good enough for like what she she really should have appreciated what she had more. These are all like my top favorite cartoon movies so I'm probably gonna be like I love this one I love this one after everyone but get used to it. The fourth movie that is my favorite is The Nightmare Before Christmas because it is a classic. I love it. I really like it. It's about um, this place called Halloween Town. We're trying to think of a new way to make Halloween scarier for the next year and he can't think of anything. He's kind of having like writer's block but Halloween block if that's a thing. Um, and so he goes to this alternate world. It's a Christmas world and he kind of steals things from there and tries to incorporate them into Halloween and it doesn't really work. It's kind of like a Halloween and a Christmas movie to be fair but I don't know I like it because it's it's got a lot of creepy things in it. I would say the storyline is more Christmas but it's definitely still worth a watch and it would definitely still fit for a Halloween. The fifth movie I'm going to talk about is Scooby-Doo and the Goblin King. It's a really good movie. It's uh, based during Halloween, I think? Yes, during Halloween. Some shenanigans go wrong and this bad guy ends up getting kind of power over the human world, kind of and Scooby-Doo and Shaggy have to go to like the goblin world to 
kind of rectify some stuff that's gone wrong and they end up saving the whole human world and magical realm, you could say, from this main guy, main bad guy that accidentally got some powers, but uh, it's really good. The sixth Halloween movie is Alvin and the Chipmunks Meet the Wolfman. I've loved this one since I was a kid. If you don't like the chipmunks singing, you probably won't like this, but anyways, this movie is about the chipmunks and how their neighbor is kind of like different per se. And Alvin ends up thinking that it's a wolfman. Uh, I've always found it really good and really entertaining. Definitely um, for all ages. A musical, so as long as you like musicals and the way the chipmunks sing, you'll really like this movie. The seventh movie we will be talking about is Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers. I love this movie. It's got a bunch of riddles in it and Scooby-Doo and Shaggy and I believe Scrappy's in this one. Um, they have to try and figure out these clues and find what they mean. Of course, it leads to a treasure, and of course, they do meet the Boo Brothers, which are actual ghosts. So, it's definitely a really awesome movie. I really like the riddles in it. I always try and figure, like, every time I rewatch it and I forget what the riddles are, I try and refigure them out before Scrappy, Scooby, and Shaggy, of course. But, yeah, it's definitely a really good movie. Number eight on my list is Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Frankenstein. I really like this one too. I like this one a little bit more than The Wolfman just because I like the singing in it more. It's just really good. They're supposed to perform at a theme park and then this creepy doctor um, actually moves into one of the rides that's there and is supposed to make the ride creepier and scarier by creating this monster. Ergo Frankenstein and yeah it's about their whole adventure with Frankenstein basically. Number 9 is kind of a throwback. It is Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. If you have not seen this movie, oh my god, you need to go see it. Um, it's definitely old school Scooby-Doo. Um, Fred, Daphne, and Velma aren't in this one. It is Shaggy, Scooby-Doo, Scrappy, and his girlfriend. It's not Velma <laughs> um, on this uh, in this movie. And what happens is um, Dracula is setting up this race, and his werewolf bounces and doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. And so they need to find a new werewolf, and Shaggy can be turned into a werewolf. And so it's them turning Shaggy into a werewolf, and then his whole adventure on turning out of a werewolf, I guess. Is that a thing? There's a bunch of different monsters in it. There's the mummy, there's Frankenstein, there's a bunch of different ones. And they all have race cars and all the race cars like have different powers and stuff like that. It's a super awesome movie. Number 10 is Halloween Town. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. I fucking love this movie. I've loved it again since I was little. It's about this girl um, who her and her siblings aren't allowed to like do anything for Halloween because her mom won't let them. And then their grandma comes and it's kind of them finding out that their family isn't ordinary. And then obviously it has something to do with Halloween Town, which is an actual place in this movie too. Not the same Halloween Town in The Nightmare Before Christmas though. Two totally separate places. Um, but yes, and it's kind of them, you could say, saving Halloween Town and their adventures with that. And then my top three, m last three cartoons, these are my absolute faves. Eleven is The Page Master. This is also a throwback uh, when Macaulay Cullen, is that the guy? The, ki the kid from Home Alone, all the Home Alones, I think that's his name. He's in it, he's the main character, and it's super awesome. It's kind of more of a fantasy, I'd say, than specifically Halloween. So it's this kid who, he's afraid to do everything, like, the world scares him, basically. And he gets stuck in a library because of a storm, and he ends up in an alternative universe, he has to uh, get the help of these books so that he can leave the library. And the other way the books will help him if it is if he promises to check them out when he leaves. And so he goes through a bunch of different sections. He goes through um, the main library and then he goes to the horror section, which honestly always terrified me as a kid. It is so scary. And if you watch the movie, you will know why. Like, they go to a certain guy's house, I don't want to give too much away, but they go to a certain, like, well-known creature's house 
And he's terrifying. Every time I watch it, I was just like, oh my god, he's so scary. He's still scary, but I know it's a cartoon now. I'm older. I can handle myself as long as, you know, an adult is watching. Anyways, um, but yeah, he goes through the horror section. He goes through fantasy, and he goes through adventure. And yeah, it's just kind of him, like, becoming brave, I would say, throughout the whole movie. And it's really, really good. It's one of those movies that kind of got lost in the past, but I'm bringing it back. My second last favorite is none other than Hocus Pocus. It, and again, it's one of those movies, it's always on during the Halloween season because it's so popular, so I'm sure you've heard of it, but I thought I'd, I, like, I just had to put it on here because it is honestly one of my favorites. What happens is three witches, they get hung and um, they get brought back magically uh, into like present day. And um, they kind of wreak havoc, and it's about these kids who accidentally summon them and having to stop them, obviously, from eating all the children, because, girl. <laughs> but I really like it. It's awesome. It has so many good actors in it. Like, the witches are so awesome. I love the singing. There's a little bit of singing. Not much, but don't worry. But um, so good. Like, it was just so, it's like, such a good movie. You don't get, you know, a lot of movies with solid plot, solid characters, solid costumes, like it was just, it was really good. I really enjoyed it and I think it's awesome. And my absolute favorite movie, it's actually my favorite movie of all time, like not Halloween, any kind of genre, my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite movie is Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. <laughs> um, this is an older movie and I will warn you that um, it's not for little, little kids. I wouldn't say it because the monsters in it are actually quite scary <laughs> and they've never made a movie this scary since so I'm assuming it didn't do too well because of that but um, it's about uh, the gang is actually split up in the beginning of the movie and they get back together because they really want to find a real live ghost and so they find or a real life monster sorry not a real life ghost but let's just say they find some scary shit. Let's just say there's zombies in it, there's crazy cat creatures in it, there's ghosts in it, there's you name it, there's swamp, there's like zombies that literally like crawl out of a swamp in it. It's scary. Like when I was younger, it scared, like it didn't scare me to the point where I had nightmares, but it gave me a thrill experience, which I think is nice and hard to find in little kid movies because they're little kids, so usually either they're like too nice or they end up being too scary. So I definitely would recommend watching this movie before you show your kids just to make sure that they are, that you think that it won't be scary, too scary for them because I'm not really sure what age it would be for. I have a three-year-old nephew and I think he'd be too small. Like he, I don't know. I don't know if it would bother him or not. Um, again, depends on the kid. Anyways, guys, that is my 13 spooky movies for the children's edition. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay tuned for next week where I will be doing adult Halloween movies, which are, it's not going to be porn. That sounded porny. I didn't mean it to sound porny. I meant that they're going to be horror movies. Ugh. I just thought I should do two versions because I know that, you know, it's hard to find good Halloween movies for kids and it's also hard to find good Halloween movies for like yourself. So anywho's, if you get, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave a comment down below. Uh, what scary movies do you guys really like that are cartoony? Do you guys have any that are like lost in translation? You know those old movies that you loved when you were a kid and then you're like, ah, oh, fuck, now I can't find it anywhere anymore. I really wanted to get some old and get some new movies in there just so that it would be a really good mix. Uh, please follow me on my social media on Twitter it's at K S B E W L A N G E R and on Instagram, Google Plus and Tumblr it's XOXO Pretty Bitches. And on Facebook, it is www.facebook.com slash Tink the Mad Scientist. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was useful. I hope you found at least some movies that I'm losing my voice that you didn't know about. Uh, and I will see you pretty bitches in my next video.